Defense Operation Firestorm. Send everyone. Get those and Marines. This is Warlord Rolling Strike Pack. The U.S. military is featured in a lot of movies. War movies, comic book movies, live action adaptations, love stories, TV shows, miniseries, true stories, not so true stories, and the list goes on. One thing is certain though, we love seeing our men and women in uniform kicking ass. In this video, I sit down with Major Joseph Patterson the current Marine Corps liaison officer to the entertainment industry to explain how the military, and specifically the Marine Corps, is featured in our latest blockbusters. Welcome to Movie University. On this channel, I cover a variety of topics on the entertainment industry, so if you like what you see today, consider subscribing and liking this video. This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN allows you to stream content that is geo-blocked in other countries while simultaneously keeping your data safe. They've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries allowing you to hide your identity while watching content that you paid for even though it may not be available to you because you live in a certain country. Use the link in the description below to help support Movie University and receive three extra months for free when you purchase a 12-month membership. Set General Quarters. General Quarters. General Quarters. All hands manual General Quarters is up and forward to the starboard side, down and after the... Sometimes you watch a movie and you can tell when someone in uniform is fake or when it's the real deal. Some movies offer differing levels of authenticity with how they portray the military. So how does this work? Um, it starts with a phone call or an email. They reach out to us and they kind of give us their idea. Sometimes they're already knee deep in a project and they already know what they want. Sometimes they're just looking for, maybe they have an idea and they're looking for, um, you know, discuss that idea with people with experience. What we do from there is um, if it seems like something that is supportable in which most cases we can find a way to get to yes, and so we'll, we'll have them fill out a form that's a, it's called a PARF, Production Assistance Request Form. We get that request form from them uh, and then we review it uh, and we uh, start reaching out to the supporting units that are being requested. So a lot of times they don't know the unit, right? They just know they, they want a tank or an airplane or infantry or, you know, whatever the military thing is they're looking for. We dissect that request form and we start reaching out to units to see if um, they're interested in supporting. And if they are, then we come back and like, hey, looks like we got interest in supporting the project. You've got a, you know, a yes from us. We submit that form up to the Department of Defense uh, office, the OSD, so Office of Secretary of Defense Entertainment. They review the project and they get the uh, signature of the SecDef's office on that. And that becomes a contract. As mentioned already, the military is featured in a lot of productions. So how does the Marine Corps choose what to and not to support? Um, so not to forget about games like Call of Duty and Halo and- Can you do your job? Yeah. And some of the more popular games that are out there. The nuke is still out there. You can't just walk away from the threat. Let's go find our Marines. We, uh, we divide them into you know, scripted and unscripted, right? So scripted being like your fiction, your movies, TV shows um, that aren't based on you know, fact or anything like that. And then we have our, our unscripted, which is like your documentaries, um, other sorts of movies that are like historical fiction based off, you know, real events um, and things like that. But it basically depends, you know, how the actors are going to portray it. If there's a script, scripted. If it's unscripted and they're going to show up and embed with us, that'd be unscripted. And then the other sort of support that we provide that, that I, I, I really think is lost on a lot of folks, especially in the entertainment world, is the cursory support that we can provide. So they want to make sure that that name's not already an active duty service member or a prominent active duty service member. Script reviews. I get lots of scripts sent to us and we'll review them if they ask us to. If they want us to look at it for accuracy, we'll go through that script with a fine tooth comb and say, we would never say this or, hey, this is excellent. I don't know how you've thought of that, but that's a really good thing and you should definitely show that. And we'll put our you know, um, our two cents in there based on what they ask of us. So if it's, you know, accuracy, we'll look at it. If they're looking for content, like, hey, read this script and tell us what you think. We do that too. 
With all these military personnel and equipment in all these blockbusters, how does the DoD justify paying for the use of military personnel in Hollywood productions? Uh, th that's, that answer has multiple layers, I suppose. So first, um, we make production companies pay. For example, like to use an airplane, uh, you know, $20,000 a flight hour per airplane, for example, and they get billed for that stuff. So they have to include that in their budget. And that's all part of the, the agreement that's signed. If there's stuff that's ongoing, so if we talk about unscripted, right? So documentaries, a documentary is going to come out and film what we're already doing. Get back, get back. Battleground Afghanistan, a new series inside one platoon of heroes, starts tomorrow at 9 on National Geographic. So what we do is we look for what we're already doing. Mm -hmm. um, so at that point, their bill is much less because if we're already doing it and there's training value associated to it. And we're really not, we're just inviting you for to tag along. Um, the bill is much, much less. The Marine Corps is in countless productions. And needless to say, it's a lot of work. How does it all happen? So it's like they've already gone through the script writing and editing. They've already got a, uh, you know, big production company, they've already got funding and distribution, and then the light bulb goes off, oh, we probably should involve the Marines, we can go on the base and film active duty members actually doing this every day, or, you know, we can get a footage of this, you know, aircraft flying by, but I can't do anything with that request in a, in a week, you know, like I need, I need the notice, I have to find the unit that's in a place that can support, and, and sometimes it doesn't meet their, their timelines, filming a scene one month to the right or a couple weeks, you know, that's maybe then we can get there. We want to help. Um, we can't help tomorrow with something that, you know, may cost millions of dollars to move uh, today. With all this work, how come we don't see the Marines in more productions? I had the same question too. And I don't think this is like a, I don't think your question is a big secret. We have been absent. In fact, there's a survey that came out recently that proves that you are right. Like, and what we found when I was reading through this is the American population at large doesn't even know what the Marine Corps is, especially when we start talking about entertainment. So when asked certain questions like, what is the Marine Corps? The answers varied from a small special ops part of the army to a snipers on Navy ships. I mean, into it was like a segment of the Air Force. It's like the answers went all over, um, but didn't really hit anywhere flat. It has a lot to do with geography. Um, it has a lot to do with uh, the size of this office. Um, and it has a lot to do with education. Of those, I guess, big three, uh, we have solved two of them and are working on solving the third ones. Movies take years. Um, and so it doesn't do the Marine Corps a service when your, your Marine director has to leave in two years. He starts working a project the day he gets here and then he PCSs before it's complete. Um, so that, that was another issue, right? So we hired a civilian to ensure some continuity. Um, and we've got, uh, I employ a master sergeant as well. I've got a couple reservists that work for me now. And we're able to balance quite a few, pro I'm working 30 different projects right now. Um, and that's from scripted and unscripted um, to include even some video games. So um, we are busy. And I tell you, I've sat down with some of the biggest names in the industry on, on in this format and we've spitballed and brainstormed and come up with uh, a lot, lots of good ideas. Um, and so I think, I think we've solved the education, at least in Hollywood problem, because word gets out quick and it has. And so my phone doesn't stop ringing. Uh, my email box, you know, my inbox is pretty full all the time. Uh, the Marine Corps is being sought after now. So it, there's no, gone are the days where I'm looking for work, right? Like I don't have enough people or enough time in my day to, you know, answer the phone as many times as it rings, so. Obviously, Major Patterson can't be at 30 places at once. So how do the Marines advise on set? Depends on the project and depends on the, the amount of risk that I want to assume. Um, so the, the uh, I've done, I think I've done that twice now. Um, and I personally know uh, the person that I'm calling and asking for some help with. Um, and then if, you know, if he brings others on, I think uh, one of them was um, I asked a, a major and then I asked, you know, for a couple senior enlisted that he knew. So basically it's me trusting my, my major buddy who I know is like a, you know, uh, OCS instructor kind of guy and to bring so he could evaluate the officer side of it. And then the uh, senior enlisted side, you know, typically looking for, um, not that any senior enlisted couldn't do it, but typically looking for the first sergeant type um, that's really read in on drill and all those, those things. Do you like seeing the military in the movies? Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. 
This is Movie University, education in cinema.